here with Coventry United manager Carl Nolan after a third successive victory. Carl, those words must sound very good right now. Three in a row. Yeah. Yes. Performance first half was nowhere near good enough in terms of effort, in terms of decision making, in terms of general quality. We had some real strong words at half time with the group. They knew anyway that the application levels, the desire, weren't at the level that you need when you come to places like this. But character second half, they've responded to a tactical change, they've responded to the information, um, and there was a, a noticeable difference in a, in, a, in a basic desire to win a football match, and that's what's got over the line today. A fantastic start though, two goals in the opening 11 minutes, the perfect platform for the Red Marines today. Yeah, look, we started very well. We had a game plan. That game plan offensively worked in the, in the first 10 minutes, we went 2-0 up. What we've said to the players there at half-time and after the game is you've got to recognise that sometimes the game plan that you go in with, all of a sudden is not going to work. The way that they set up, we never really had opportunities to go and attack in the areas that we wanted to attack. So we had to change our game plan a little bit. Um, and as I say, there just wasn't enough tactical intelligence, there wasn't enough endeavour there after we went 2-0 up to make sure we competed well enough. But towards the end of the first half, it became all bug rook. Somehow we got into uh, half-time 2-0. Was it just a, a matter of complacency for the Coventry United team, just uh, taking that 2-0 advantage for, um, for advantage? Yeah, maybe. I can't definitively answer that. Maybe it was. All I saw was a side there that didn't have the same body language that we've had in recent games. A side there that didn't show the same desire to make sure we're hard to beat uh, and the same quality on the ball. Maybe it was that, I don't know. But the message at half time was we significantly dropped our levels there today. We could have been five or six down by half time. You know, let's let's make no bones about it. So we're quite fortuitous to come in at half time uh, with the scoreline as it was. And one of the major reasons was for United coming into the half time in front was Chris Roscoe. An absolutely fantastic performance, man of the match display today. How important, how impressive has he been over the last couple of games? I've been really impressed with Roscoe um, since I've been here. He seems to have got better each game. He's more commanding when he's called upon. As you saw today, he's pulling off those saves. He's a big character in the dressing room. I like his commitment, I like his character. Um, and I'm just really pleased for him because he's got the number one shirt now. Well, going into the second half, it was all about character. You made the changes, you brought on Evan Osborne and Eddie Halagani. And it was really a back to the wall job for the vast majority of that second half until you got that third goal. How have you been able to instill that character into these young lads? Well, you know, we demand it. You know, we say to them that this is a big transition now. They've come from youth football to a strong semi professional level. And it's a bit of a baptism of fire. They've got to meet these games head on, they've got to learn on the job, so to speak. And look, second half, again, and I said this a couple of weeks ago at Willingborough, that will have done them the world of good. They've grew again. They've become more mature. They have gone through a real significant learning curve there today. Got out of jail. But look, we've just got to use that as a platform with them. Two returns for Coventry United today. The first uh, being a very successful one in Sami Mazafa, but contrasting the uh, fortunes of Ed El Elhagani, who got a very harsh red card today. But uh, good to see two very impressive young lads back on the field. Yeah, great to see Ed back. He's gone out and got some match fitness, so we're pleased for him. Um, with the tactical change that we felt we had to make at half-time, he was perfect in there. Really unlucky to get a red card. I mean, the ball was on the pitch. He's tried to clear it, and I think the referee has just obviously thought he's kicked it out you know, for a bit of gamesmanship. Now, we've got to respect the referee's decision. Uh, but look, Ed's really unlucky there. Really unlucky. He's come on. He's played really, really well. He showed the desire that we're looking for. Um, so we're just trying to get his head up a bit in there. And finally, big one coming up, not next Saturday, but next Sunday at the Butts Park Arena in the Osusu FA Vars against Romulus. Everyone knows there was a little bit of bad blood in pre-season, so uh, is this going to be a game where you think, again, character is going to be an important thing? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And this would have been a good one today in terms of forming that character. Um, the players know our philosophy. It's underpinned by character, it's underpinned by hard work and discipline. Um, so look, we'll go into that game, use this game as a foundation. Um, hopefully it'll be a clean game, there shouldn't be any problem, you know, that's in the past. Um, but as I say, we just go into every game uh, looking to win, looking to prepare to win, um, and see how it takes us. Well, fantastic victory today, Carl. Congratulations on a third successive victory. We'll see you next week. Thank you.